All right, man, here it comes. Here comes Dr. Jekyll and I, I go from just tell like it is Coach John. I got a gift for Anna first. What do you think it is, first of all? I have no, I have no idea. idea. Take a like wild a, guess. A uh, I don't know. I don't know. A t shirt? You're gonna touch it and you're gonna guess what you think it is. It's bananas. No, oh, it's she's not, not enthused. Shut the up. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, congratulations, right? What do you think this is? Yo, can we score? <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> Yo, man, can we, get, can we get a workout in? I'm sorry, guys. You understand this. You guys know me. All right, man. Here it comes. Here comes Dr. Jekyll. And I, I go from just tell like it is Coach John to being like extremely annoyed. I'm so sorry. I like, I'm not sorry. I'm Canadian, so I say sorry, but I'm not sorry. But like, yo, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to watch this video critique and I can't really do a freaking critique because the whole damn video is talking. That's some clickbaity ass shit right there. Training TikTokers. Can I see some damn training? Can I please see some training here? It should be like talking with TikTokers, dot, 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 and training in like small words, you know, small case, lower case, and like brackets around it. And I'm trying to critique a damn video, and I've literally seen maybe like 30 seconds worth of, of, of training. Can I get some training? Like, oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, I was wondering how long it would take to get two girls sitting on top of the leg press. Cliche. Like I was, I literally saw that a mile away. I'm like, yo, if they do leg press, I guarantee these girls are gonna be on top of that leg press in no time. I would have just added more weight. You know what I mean? Like it's way more impressive when you stack the thing out and then put people on top. You don't put people on top with a bunch of weight left over. Like there's a lot of room on those bars for more 45s. I'm pretty sure both of those girls probably weigh a little over 100 pounds. So it's like you could have put on like four more plates and then like a couple more because obviously it's not that hard. Here we go. 100% do this one. Yeah, there's like 80 pounds in your calves and then there are 100. That is the biggest compliment anyone's ever given me. I mean, get it, I guess. Run with that for his life. Yeah. Oh my God. Holy sh There you go. Wow. I was just kind of. Oh. Oh go! All right, so that's why you don't do certain stuff like that. Like, you know, do it for the gram. Do it for the two. Do it for you, man. Like, go train and do it because you want to do good, because you want to build muscle. That's like one of the best ways to get injured is by just doing stupid ass shit in the gym to be funny and cool. Okay, let's go back to the leg press because I literally missed it because they literally took two seconds. <laughs> Tips with me leg press, okay? So since I really can't see much here, first of all, time and attention is way too fast. I don't really think they're getting much of a workout here, to be honest, to be freaking honest. When you're leg pressing, number one, when your butt's on the bench, don't let your butt come off the bench. So when you're lowering the weight, when it comes to depth, how low should you go? Almost like same as squats. You wanna make sure you can go low where you can keep your butt remaining on the bench. I had a client hire me the other day and we were talking about his back issues and they were stemmed from him doing leg pressing and he had a lot of weight on the, on the, on the press and it was coming down, his butt came off, lifted off the, off the seat and then all the weight basically compressed on his spine because it's vulnerable in that position. You're basically on a full pelvic tilt. Your butt's pelvic tilting underneath, like anterior tilting like this. And then you hurt his back. The biggest thing I tell people when your leg pressing is to make sure that you keep your butt in that crease that bench on the bench. Don't let it come off. So when you're controlling the weight down, you can control and push from your glutes. It's still a workout, man. I gotta understand. And Jesse's like a huge fan of Greg. So I would just think that he would be like, you know, apply some of the things Greg has said, not just to French toast. If you would apply as much attention into making French toast in his training, Jesse would be way sweeter. Like he's already good. If he spent more time actually training, he'd probably be a lot better. Now, this is just obviously on camera. I'm not saying that every day he's gonna camera follow him around. But for me, I think that a lot of things translate over. They transfer. So for me, if I'm training every single day and I train a certain way and I'm serious when I train, when there's a camera on me, I'm the same person. The camera shouldn't change your environment. It should just document what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. That's my issue I have 
with some of these influencers that they take the entertainment part of it and it overshadows the educational part of it. It's not like you're sitting there like walking down the street talking to TikToks about stuff, you know, yeah, yeah, shooting the shit, blah, blah, blah. That makes sense. But we're sitting there watching a training video and it says training TikTokers. So it, nothing should change. The only thing that should change are the people in your environment. It shouldn't change your entire environment. No. Anyway, moving on. All right, we got some reverse lunges. All right. Okay, so. I want you to watch both. Okay, so both of these, okay, he's crushing them. He's cracking the form a bit, I look like. But when you're doing reverse lunges, so you guys understand the weight distribution. A lunge, whether you're going back or forward, is just like an exaggerated stride. If you're walking backwards, it's the same thing as doing a reverse lunge, in a sense. So when we're doing any type of lunge, you're gonna get a lot of activation in your glutes. Think about like a split squat. It's a lunge, basically. So when we're doing lunges, reverse lunge, we want to keep our weight distributed on our heel or the arch of our foot, still gripping with our toes. Your knee's gonna have a little bit of a forward hinge along with your butt moving back so we can get a lot of that pressure in your glutes. Where should your back be in relation to, you know, um, degrees wise when it comes to being tilted or 90 degrees? When I started lifting and when I was 11 years old, the evolution of training has changed drastically. When I started off, it was, when it came to lunges, it was make sure your knees are 90 degrees both and then you're up straight. And it's like, you can't move like that, that's impossible. So you're gonna have to have a little bit of a lean over that foot and make sure you're aligned with that knee over toe so you can actually push through the glutes. If we're too upright and trying to do one of these and then lunge, look at me, I'm like basically going backwards. I'm gonna put a lot of pressure on hip flexors. The weight distribution when you're lunging should be on the entire of the front leg, not the back one. The leg stepping back is really only there to guide and make sure you don't fall backwards. But all that weight shouldn't be put onto that back foot. And for the other girl that's actually lunging, she's not bending that back leg at all, hardly. For anything, if I was looking at Jess to do the squat, or sorry, doing the reverse lunge, I always say when I, whenever you're doing reverse lunging or any kind of lunge, to, to look at your leg. Like, you have to watch. You have to be very attentive to like what you're doing. Be very aware, mindful of your body. Have that good body awareness. So when you're lunging, you wanna make sure that your toe is aligned with your knee. Your knee with your toe. Because when you're squatting or lunging, if you're lunging back or forward, and your knee is, you know, Inside of your toe outside, you're forcing too much pressure on the hip flexor the wrong way, you're gonna get impingements. And then when it comes to actually building the muscle, you're gonna build it very imbalanced, right? Now I'm being very like, you know, over dramatic when it comes to it, but I'm telling you these things, you don't make these mistakes. Like if I'm trying to build the best physique I can ever build, wouldn't I wanna do it with really, really good form? But again, you can't blame people if they don't have, you know, the actual education or knowledge or even the person, someone there to tell you you're doing it right or wrong. Let's keep going. Tarps off for the boys. Tarps off for the boys. Tarps off. Tarps off. Oh, tarps off. Fine. Tarps came off. Tarps off. All right, we're doing leg. We're doing leg extensions. Okay. So again, guys, this top time and attention. Right. Jesse's cueing them on, you know, getting full range of motion, which is good, but we're still missing that time and attention, right? And you can see Jesse's butts coming off the bench when you're doing this kind of stuff. That's why they created the handles on the leg extension machine. So you can keep your butt in the bench. If we wanna have good activation through our quads and we're doing leg extensions, we're really isolating our quads. We don't want our butt doing like this or up and down. Hold that damn hot handle, hold yourself in the bench, peel yourself down, engage your core, get yourself upright, and then you're flexing through. We're not just throwing the weight up, not just swinging the weight and getting it up. That's all I want to do. 
We are contracting muscle while adding a load. You want to get your, you want to get the fullness out of any of your exercises. Flex through your workout. Flex through the movement. Contract the muscle. Be aware of what you're actually doing. We're not just lifting things up and down. Oh, let's just say we're doing bicep curls, right? Anyone can do this. When you're actually doing the weight, flex up and down. Control the weight. When you're training, all you're doing is contracting muscle and then adding a load. That's what all these wonderful machines are for. The dumbbells and the barbells are there to add a load to you contracting muscle. Not if you literally just pick it up and put it down. This is starting to look like most of the time with the younger guys, younger generation, I can't say, I'm sorry I keep saying younger generation because like, I'm, I'm like old, like I'm old as shit. All the younger guys that are doing videos, I don't really see much of them giving out anything that's quality. It looks like I'm watching a TV show. That alone can keep me engaged is like the quality of it, you know, it's 4K and everything else, but when it comes to quality as in like the content itself, no. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of Jesse's videos and a lot of stuff is very entertaining. I would look at this more of like a docu for him. Like you're watching a day in a life sort of kind of thing. And you know, this is basically how he's living. That's how I look at this video. When it comes to actually learning, I just forgot I watched a video on a leg day because I literally watched talking the whole, I had to fast forward through talking the whole time. Anyway guys, I got some really good videos out there. Check my train with me playlist. You know, check out some other videos I have up there too. I hope I made something out of this because I had to literally make something out of nothing. And if you did guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video guys. And for coaching, johnnyshreve.com. I do consultations too, so you can call me up and we can have a face-to-face -face talk and you can talk about whatever you want, get your questions ready. And if after that you decide you want to hire me, I actually deduct the amount off of any package that you pick. Add me on Instagram at underscore John Sheev underscore progressive overload your life. You know what, I gotta add another one. Iron sharpens iron. So that one man, woman or circle sharpens another. Let's keep sharpening each other guys. Let's keep making each other better. And then progressive overload your life. And in the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.